Hey, welcome back. It's another Dueling Excel podcast. I'm Bill Jellen from Mr. Excel. I'm here with Mike Gervin from Excel is Fun. This is episode 100. Amazing! Can you believe this? Mike pulled out the trick that we did for uh, episode one. Oh, he made it like 100 times harder. All right, so we'll see how, how, how we go here. I don't know. Here's the goal. Here's the goal. We're doing a two-way lookup, but this time... This time, it's not an exact match, it's uh, an approximate match down the left-hand side, and because four or more, five, six, seven, eight, has to pick up this four, it has to be an approximate match across the top, and then, he says, do conditional formatting to highlight the uh, one that matches. I'm like, you're crazy. I can, I can, I can do the formula. Uh, so the formula, the formula is going to have three functions. And uh, it's going to be an index, a match, and a match. I just have, I want to do the match first. So the first match says we're going to go look for this quantity along this scalar here. I'll press, uh, do I have to press F4? Not really, but I'm going to anyway. Comma, and I want the uh, 1, which is like the true version of VLOOKUP. And that's going to tell me that 42 should be using the third row. So that is we don't qualify for the 49 price break. We do qualify for the 25 price break. That's really, really cool. Now over here, equal match. Match is cool. It goes uh, both horizontal and vertical. We have these up here. I'll press F4 again, comma 1. And to do the little test, we will make this be uh, 7. And it should... Uh, and, uh, what did I do? That you put 7 in... Uh Oh, um, press for shirt. Sorry, yeah. We'll see. Yep. So right here, seven. There we go. All right. Excellent. So now I have these two little bits. And I'm going to take those two bits and I'm going to put them together inside of an index function. So the index function says, "Hey, here's all of our answers." I'll press F4. Which row do I want? I want the answer from that. Which column do I want? I want the answer from that. Now that's uh, three formulas, and it looked like Mike wanted that put in one spot. So uh, my favorite trick: copy everything except for the equal sign. Come back here, choose B16, Control V, and then everything but the equal sign, Control C, come back here. That is some keyboard magic there. There we go, Control V. That is a long form. People look at that and say, hey, you must be Mr. Excel. Uh, that whole thing, Control X, come over here, equal, Control V, two equal signs. There we go. And then he wants a total. I guess I can do that. All right, so there's my answer. Yeah, conditional format. I, uh, I don't know. I want to watch Mike and see what he does. All right. Thanks, Mr. Excel. 100. Amazing. Well, uh, okay. I'm going to just do the straight first part of this as VLOOKUP, and then for the column index, I'll use MATCH. I'm going to say equals VLOOKUP. The lookup value, I'm looking up something here in the first column, so I'm going to look up that, comma, within this whole table right here. This VLOOKUP, looking the value up here, will give me the row, right? Comma, and then I need a column number. Well, I'm going to use MATCH. I'm going to look up this, comma. Now, notice if I highlight this, it'll give me one number too few. So I'm going to highlight all of these. And um, it is approximate match. The default, if you leave it off here, is one. So I'm going to leave it off. So that should give me my two-way lookup. 25, 3, that should give me 223. Now, the total equals this times 25. This is a, uh, a quantity of shirts and colors, right? So 80, 75. Now, to do conditional formatting, I'm going to do it uh, an actual. So here it's this row and this one. I'm going to do a color this way, a color this way, and then an intersecting color. I'm going to highlight the whole table here. And I have to match, I have to find something here and match it against this. So I'm going to, with the active cell in the upper corner, Alt-O-D, Alt-N, arrow, 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 tab. Now, for an entire row, I need to match the uh, row header. So I'm going to click here. You always build your formula from the point of view of that active cell. And I'm going to lock it just the column reference, but not the row. And I'm saying anytime that's equal to, now I could use VLOOKUP, but I'm going to use LOOKUP, 
which is the same. It does approximate matches as what we're doing here. I'm going to say look up, look up the quantity, and that's F4, comma, and then I'm going to highlight this entire column here, just the single column. Now, this is kind of weird, right? I'm looking up this 25 to try and find you know, some value here, but that'll work. That'll give me the, the entire row. Format it. At least I got my fingers crossed. It's yellow, yellow, yellow. I got my, OK, oh, so there sweet. it looks like it's worked. Alt-O-D, new rule. So equals the row header. This one's got to be locked with the the uh, row reference anytime that's equals to lookup of this one, comma within this, and it it's uh, by default approximate match. Close parentheses, format this. I'm going to say orange. Click OK. Click OK. Click OK. Alt O D. Now I need to put both of these. Now I'm going to do cheat here because I can't type. I'm going to copy that in edit mode, click OK. New rule, because both of them have to be true. I'm going to say and, and then Control V. I need one more, but I'm going to close parentheses, just close it, and then come down here and steal this so I don't have to type it. Control C, OK. And then come here and comma, Control V. I got my fingers crossed. Red and a font color white. There we go. So let's try it. Two, I ordered 2,700 uh, shirts, and I want five colors. So there we go. All right. So <laughs> back to Mr. Excel. I know you got a, uh, a good one here. That's insane. That's insane. I, I, I'm going to have to watch this one 10 times just to figure out what the heck you did. All right. Hang on. I'm going to, I'm. you know, sometimes, Mike, sometimes, sometimes, Highlight cell rules. I want to highlight duplicate values. Look at that. There are no duplicates in this bad boy. If there had been a duplicate, I'd go to the pricing manager and I'd have them change it so that way there were no duplicates. And what we do is Alt O D and we say we want to we're actually delete that rule. And we're going to do new rule. And we're going to format only cells that contain cell value is equal to. Hey man, I already did the hard stuff down here. I just want to be equal to that. <laughs> <laughs> and uh, Phil, it's the red one. Click OK. Click OK. And we're done. Oh, <laughs> look at that! <laughs> <laughs> and uh, uh, 5,000 shirts. There we go. Sweet. Easy. That's the point. So it's, well, hey, that was episode 100 of the Dueling Excel podcast. With any luck, we'll be back next week for episode 101. I want to thank you for stopping by. See you next time for another Dueling Excel podcast from Mr. Excel. And Excel is fun. <laughs>